back to another episode of Clark Reviews. It's your boy Donovan. So here we go once again. There is a report out via Heroic Hollywood that Warner Brothers reportedly regrets releasing Zack Snyder's Justice League. And I don't know why because it's probably one of the best superhero movies of all time. Some people will put it number one, top three, top five, top ten, whatever. It's one of the best, okay? Should have got that to the, the Justice League cut from Excuse me, director Josh Whedon. But what it says is, and I'm going to read it to you. Warner Brothers reportedly regrets releasing Zack Snyder's Justice League. Warner Brothers reportedly regrets releasing, releasing Zack Snyder's Justice League, League last year. The unthinkable happened back in 2020 when it was announced that Warner Brothers would release Zack Snyder's version of Justice League following the vocal online movement going on for years. The DC film hit HBO Max last year to favorable reviews and was a major victory for some fans. Now, if you hear kids hollering in the background because they're playing outside, so they're probably going to continuously interrupt me, like right now. Sorry, okay? Uh, should the Snyder Cut have been released? Reports have also come out since Zack Snyder went over budget with the additions made to the film and that bots played a major role in the fan campaign. In case you didn't know, they're saying that a whole bunch of online bots kept retweeting and putting stuff out. Whatever. It was all kinds of bots. It was like maybe 15 to 20%. But 80% was real. Okay. The movement has also sparked others for films like David Ayer's Suicide Squad and Bad Girl. An old regime was in place back when the Snyder Cut was released, per Variety. The studio isn't too fond of the movie in hindsight. Privately, studio insiders have lament, laminate, lamented, if I can say it, that Zack Snyder's justly never should have happened. Rather than quit quiet this unceasing online campaign, release the Snyder Cut, the four-hour HBO Max feature only further entrenched the vocal and extremely online Snyderverse fan base in opposition to the leadership at the studio in general and at DC in particular. Now, let me say this, okay? We as fans know what we want. We know what we like. Um, sometimes these studio heads are lost. They don't even know the comics, the rich history of the comics. So let me say this. We as fans... We are fond of the rich history of these characters and the lore that goes with them. We grew up with them, okay? I'm a huge Batman fan. I want Batman to be done right. And there was no direction at the studio. They was too busy trying to compete with Marvel instead of developing a plan to do these characters justice. We wanted the original version because I like Man of Steel. I like Batman versus Superman. I wanted to see the vision continue. I would love to see it continue. It's better than the bull stuff that we got. So yes, us fans know a little bit about it. Put somebody in place like Kevin Feige who is respectful of the content. Y'all just release your shit. Like y'all put out that Batman movie without no plan. You say, hey, let's release a Batman movie. Batman's popular. Let's put a Batman movie out. And I don't care if nobody says The Batman three hours long. I enjoy the detective side, but it's not a great movie. Nobody can convince me otherwise. It's actually quite boring in some parts. And the fighting is probably with Christian Bale's The Dark Knight. Which, I love those movies, but the fight scenes weren't that great, okay? And there was no detective really working those. Here is the synopsis for Zack Snyder's Justice League. I don't need to do that. Read that. We know what the fuck that is. But both versions of Justice League are available to stream on HBO Max, which they should get rid of the Joss we cut. But anyways, that's, that's all that they said, okay? But, like, why does it keep getting brought up? Who cares? It was like some people's list of their favorite movie of 2021 or 2010 whatever came out 2000 last year was it yes it was a year ago so who cares the movie came out deal with it it was got a arousing applause some people still didn't like it a lot of them probably hate snyder but us fans that were supportive of his vision love the movie i like it maybe more than man of steel and Batman vs. Superman. Because it took me a minute. I got myself overhyped for Batman vs. Superman. But I eventually, the more I watched it, the more I loved it. Right? There were certain things I want to be, want to wish were done different. That's with any movie. Any movie. Especially these comic book movies. But the fact that it keeps getting brought up, it was brought up. Let it go. You dwell it on the past. Move forward. And if David Zaslav, the new head of Warner Brothers Discovery, wants to bring it back, go get a standing ovation from millions of people. It's better than the stuff you're doing now. Shit, he cast Jason Moe's Aquaman. Good movie. 
The Shazam stuff is good. The first Wonder Woman was good. The second one was trash. You know, the Flash movie is supposed to be getting high. I hit the camera. Sorry, I mean to vibrate. But I, this Flash movie is getting rave reviews and test screenings. Like, the man knows what he's doing. Release the part two or three of Zack Snyder's Justice League. Go with it. Get a man money. They're good movies, quality movies. And every, not everything like Marvel has to be funny and lighthearted, okay? The superhero genre has serious content to come, especially DC. Okay, stop. In, in the mo last couple years of Marvel movies have not been that good. I don't care what y'all say, it haven't been good. I can go down a list, pull a list up right now and give it to you, okay? And I keep saying okay because it's like my period on the end of my sentence, okay? Release this, restore the Snyderverse, damn. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Why you here, like, share, subscribe to your boys channel. Until next time, y'all take it easy. Game recognized game. Peace.